Hey everyone, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics Suggested Creations, Episode 3, I mean Episode 5, Part 3. I'm super excited to bring you guys uh, the final part for this world, uh, with the download in the description of course, so make sure you guys download it and uh, fly these things, try them out, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like them, then give me a subscribe and uh, come back for some more. So I just wanted to mention in this video, actually, I'm super happy to see 500 subscribers uh, enjoying uh, Scrap Mechanic. So uh, thank you so much to everyone. It keeps going up. Uh, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it, and uh, and hopefully uh, we just keep on going. So here it is, guys, my Banshee. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It it took me uh, took me a while to really figure it out. And I I love the glass. Look at the way the glass shimmers. I was just imagining like the force field around it, you know. And I didn't want to cover the whole thing in glass. That would have been ridiculous. But I think just like this, it looks really nice. As you can see, I have like a glass staircase under there as well. It's super fast. It flies really, really fast. And uh, that was something that was really important to me, was making it really, really fast. Because it's really like a scouting combat vehicle. So this thing goes really fast. You get from one side of the map to the other quickly. Uh, it's really balanced. It took me a while. You can see a lot of weird thruster configurations here. Uh, this time, uh, I really switched it up. It really feels like you're flying like an alien craft, you know? It really does. It's crazy, actually. I can't even believe it. It's a whole new style for me for a flying vehicle. And uh, so this is the entrance here. It's really nice, actually, just walking inside of it and uh, and just kind of seeing how different it is, you know? It just it looks really different. So I set this up here. So you just walk up and you trigger a sensor and you get inside. So you don't, you would never really fly first person. I mean, there is a bit of a window there. But ultimately, you'll always fly like this. And you can see the whole thing, which is really nice. Uh, so you have a full view when you're flying. So you're not going to kind of lose sight of uh, which part of your craft is dipping or moving. So as you can see, I just get out, and it triggers the sensor, and it puts those back. I just thought that was like, you know, little details. Those kind of things I enjoy in the game, so... So I'll show you guys here real quick before I start flying it. Um, I just kind of made a little quick building here. I wanted to add more to this world, but this ended up using up a bit more time than I was expecting. Uh, but I'm really happy with that anyway. So you just have to... Whoop, I have to bring that out. That's the wrong way. So once you get the... Once you get the right direction here, and you put it down... Okay, so I have to turn that all the way around now. Alright, there we go. So you just have to line it up like that. And there you're on the landing pad, all lined up, ready to go. So it's easy to just walk in here. And I made it actually, so these stairs, um, they will go up automatically once I, once I fly up a little bit. So, so I'll give this a shot here, show you guys what it's like to fly. Remember, it's uh, attached to W now, so you still you can steer with A and D and W, but you're making sure you're pressing all the 2, 3, 4, and 5. So one is just upward thrust like this, and then you press W and you just start flying really fast. Oh, I see a mist-colored block there. That's kind of interesting. So as you can see, it doesn't really want to lose too much control. And I'm just pressing W and steering with A and D right now. And I just can press 4 and that'll bring the nose back. And if you just let go of W, you'll slow right down. It's a little topsy-turvy when you're not going forward, so I find it's just easier to drive, to go forward and, uh... Uh-oh. Ooh, 
close one. Close one. It's a little hard to get used to. Um, I had it going pretty good there earlier. Um, let's see if I can... There we go. Alright, so now once I get into this kind of view here, it's really easy just to keep that tail level. I find, yeah, this is actually the best view for flying, because you're always uh, watching your, uh, your tail, right? That's the most important thing. So I'll just kind of loop around this mountain here and uh, see how that goes. It's actually really nice. It just turns and hovers pretty easily, and as long as you keep your tail down like that, then uh, it steers in the direction that you need to, as you can see. So we'll just get low here and uh, kind of bring it right back to the base. I might need to tweak the steering on this a little bit. Uh, I'm not too sure yet if I'm going to, but... I mean, it's it's pretty good, though. I mean, I can really get to where I need to go with it. And, I mean, it looks pretty sweet as well. It looks different anyway, you know? I really feel like it's a... a, a bit of an alien kind of craft, you know? So there you have it, guys. This is the uh, the Banshee. Uh, so thanks again to everyone who's checked out my videos and subscribed. And uh, if you guys uh, give me even more suggestions, I will write them all down. So with that said, though, um, I didn't get to do all of the things I necessarily wanted to do here in uh, this world. So just because I didn't do it, though, doesn't mean I didn't write those Halo suggestions down. So like I said, I still have that huge list. It does keep getting bigger and bigger, but we've got all the time we need. So thanks to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.